Once we understand how to create a simple backend for the React application, let me show you how you can connect the MongoDB with the backend. So in this lecture, we're going to connect the MongoDB to the backend server. So we need to first install the Mongoose module inside this Express application. So I'm going to open my terminal. Let me just stop this development server. And here I'm going to say npm i for install. And then I'm going to install Mongoose module. Make sure the spelling is exactly the same. When I press enter, it will install this Mongoose module inside this Express application. So once we have the Mongoose module inside our project, let me just close this terminal and create a new file for the Mongoose. So inside this server folder, here I'm going to create a new folder first and specify here Mongoose. And inside that, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file connection.js. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. And inside this connection.js, I'm going to use my connection string of MongoDB and connect that with this Express application. So what we need to do is we need to first import the Mongoose module inside this connection. So I'm going to say here constant Mongoose is equal to and then we need to require the Mongoose module. So I'm going to say here Mongoose. Now you can notice here when you specify here single quote and specify M, you're going to get the MongoDB as well. You can also use MongoDB to connect your server with Atlas database. But MongoDB use a native driver for interacting with MongoDB instance. And Mongoose is an object modeling tool for MongoDB. Using Mongoose, a user can define a scheme for the database in a particular collection. In a particular collection. Mongoose is easy than MongoDB. So we're going to use here Mongoose. Once I import that, just down here, I'm going to just first create the connection. So I'm going to say here a command and say, mongo connection and just down here i'm going to first call mongo's module and with this module or you can say with this mongo's object i'm going to call a method dot connect this connect method is going to connect the mongodb with this express application so inside this parenthesis you need to pass the url of the mongodb so i'm going to see here parenthesis and inside a single quote i need to specify the url of mongodb at last so i'm going to open my browser and i'm going to open the mongodb cluster I already have my database inside this MongoDB cluster. We know that how to create a database in the MongoDB cluster in the previous lecture. Now I'm going to connect this database to my Express application. So I'm going to click on this connect button. And once I click on it, I'm going to choose this time the connect your application option. In the previous lecture, we understand how to work with connect with Mongo shell. Now let me show you how you can use this connect your application option. This is going to use us a native driver to connect the MongoDB with your application. So I'm going to click on it. And from here, I'm going to copy this link and paste that link here like this. And just out of that, you need to change this password field. So I'm going to get rid of this password with these angle brackets. And here, I'm going to specify my password of the user. I have a password to this user, admin. I have this user in my database access, you can notice. And to this user, I have the password, admin. So I'm going to specify that here. If you have different password to your user, you can specify that here. At the end, here, just out of this single code, I'm going to specify here comma and then I'm going to specify some properties here. So in the object, I'm going to pass use new URL parser. Now I'm going to use these properties to remove some console warnings. That is why I use these properties. So I'm going to say here use the new URL parser is going to be true. And then I'm going to say use unified topology is going to be true. If you remove both these properties, you will get a warning inside your console. And just out of that, just down here, I'm going to specify dot and call the catch method. So if there is any error inside this connection string, I'm going to call this catch method. And inside it, I'm going to call the handler function. So I'm going to say here E and call the handler function like this. And inside it, I'm going to say console.log. And in the single code, here I'm going to say connection error. And I'm going to just print the connection message as well. So I'm going to say here E dot message. Let me just concatenate this message with this connection error. So I'm going to add here plus sign. So if you successfully connected to your MongoDB Atlas, it will execute this connect function. Otherwise, if you have any error inside your connection string, Mongo's will execute this catch error and print the console message. Now, just out of that, just down here, I'm going to say constant db is equal to, and then I'm going to call Mongo's dot connection. Now, inside this property, we have the valid connection. So I'm going to get that connection and specify that to this variable. And just for that, I'm going to just export this DB variable. So I'm going to say here module dot exports is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here DB, this connection variable. 
Now our connection file is successfully ready. Let me save this file and back to the server.js. And here you need to call your connection file at the top. When your server started, I need to first start my MongoDB and then execute this first route. So at the top here, I'm going to say constant db is equal to and then I'm going to require my file name. So in the single code, I'm going to say dot forward slash mongos connection. So I'm going to just specify this file name here and inside this db variable, I'm going to have this db object. Now just out of that, just down here, just out of this port, here I'm going to say db the object dot on. I'm going to call a method on of this db object and when there is any error inside this object, I'm going to execute this. I'm going to execute this error event and I'm going to just call here console.error.bind and I'm going to bind here console in the single quote. I'm going to simply say mongodb connection error. So if there is any problem inside your connection, it will print this error message. If you want, you can print the console.log here as well to print your error message. And just down here, if there is a valid connection, I'm going to say here db dot once and inside this parenthesis, I'm going to say here open event and then I'm going to specify your comma, call the callback function like this and inside it, I'm going to say console.log and in the double quote, I'm going to say mongodb connected successfully. Let me save this file, open my terminal, clear the screen and start the development server using npm start command. As you can see, in my console, I'm going to have here a message, mongodb connected successfully. Along with that, at the top, I'm going to get here server running on port 3000 and just down here, I'm going to have here mongodb connected successfully message. So now we successfully connected this mongodb database to this express application. Now practice with this code to understand how to successfully connect your MongoDB to your Express application.